right, y'all. It's time to get a dirty. Sorry, that's a little dirty D. So anyway, hello, folks. It's Shin Tiger Girl here, that dude in a straw hat, bringing you the final part of my Aria of Sorrow Let's Play. In the last episode, Soma found out the truth, that he is the reincarnation of the Dark Lord Dracula. And now he must venture into the chaotic dimension in order to stop him from completely turning into the Dark Lord. And just before that, we had a nice little boss battle with um, Julius Belmont. And Soma made him promise that if he fails, he would kill him. So, that out of the way, let's go. Alright, but first, let's... First, let's get rid of this piece of crap sword and get... Oh yeah, let's get back to this big boy. So we go down. Get back in here. And we go through this door. And welcome to the chaotic realm. Well, we have a save point here, so... Save, which is very convenient. The chaotic realm. Now, the chaotic realm is mostly just, um... Uh, just locations from various random locations at, of the castle smushed together. Hence why it's called the Chaotic Realm. So, and if you're trying to check the map, there is no map. Yes, this area has no map, as you can see. First, I want to check something out. And yes, you can, I guess, it, I, I was curious about this, but this is my first time doing it. I actually thought I was curious on whether or not you can go back to the, right, to the castle, but yeah, we can do this. Alright. Alright, we're going over here. Oh, I forgot. So anyway, go up. And we're notice we're in the rest of hidden we're in the underground reservoir area. And like I said, there is no map. So don't expect to try to fill out a map here. Alright. And each door where you go through takes you to a separate part of the castle. Uh, I don't feel like fucking with you, so killer mantle. So you really can't get a full, you can't really get a full goodness, a full feel of the chaotic realm because, well, like its name says, it's a, it's chaotic, it's crazy. There's no rhyme or reason to anything. So we're just gonna explore for a little bit. Walls, hidden walls, and right now you should be leveled up enough that nothing will stand a chance against you. Ouch. Sorry, Soma. And they also, you have a lot of um, souls here, places here that you can grind for souls if you want to. Come on. Die. Right, let's go through here. Come on. There you go. There. So I already have their souls, so there's really no reason for me to grind for them. I'll just kill them if they're in my way. Which they are. Alright. Let's go left first. And we got a... You know what? Come back. Get back here, you son of a... Oh, we got a cockatrice. Or a basilisk. Teach you to shoot arrows at me, asshole. Nothing can stand in your way. And we level up again. So, and oh, we have a giant skeleton. Giant skeleton. Yes, I've gotten stronger since the last time we met. This is the headhunter's room. We go through here. This is the clock tower. Oh, 
Oh, and we got a, we got a new enemy, the Astor. It's just like a nemesis, but bigger and beefier. It's like a fucking truck, you guys. Alright. This area, of course, is the dance hall. Thank you. First, I don't want to really use up my, my potions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use such a succubus and fuck you in the face. Yep. And we're going to keep going. Yeah, this all doesn't make any sense, does it? And we're going to save room. So we're just going to keep moving on. And so that's a, that's a place you can get the mimic soul. I already have it. So I'm just gonna keep going. All right. Come here, you bitch. 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 Take that. All right. So guys, what did it mean? Oh, and we got the demon lord, the last of the big uber beast demons. And that was my someone messaging me on time. I don't know why I'm still remembering it. Nope, that's 500 bucks. So we're just gonna keep going. I think this is the area where you pick up one of the most valuable items in the game. It's a special accessory that reduces the cost of MP for all of your souls, but you need 100% of all the souls in the game. And since I wasn't able to get all 100%, Want all the, the souls in the game, I wasn't able to get it. Like I said, in the, in the very first part, I didn't, if I couldn't get the souls, I wasn't going to waste your time watching me grind for them. Come on. I guess we've got it away. Yeah, alrighty. Going down. Sorry about that. And read. So, the best, there is no real set way for you to go about doing this because, well, like I said, there, so, like I said, there is no map to this place. So, you're, you're kind of, you just have to feel your way around. What's this? Estot. Yeah, you're, I'm not gonna switch to it because, well, I have my big fuck off sword and I don't need anything else. And we got that Crusader Soul, not that I needed it. Yeah, this kind of place give, can give you headaches. And let's switch back to our Succubus Soul. Succubus is so awesome. It's not just the soul is not just good because it helps you get to this this point in the game. It's just an awesome soul to have. And bitch, you ain't Yoko. Yeah, try, try, try again, bitch. All right, let's go through here. And we got a big ass of guard armor. So I'm switching. I'm oh, gonna go switch out. Kill our mantle. And funny, the good thing about this um the succubus, I don't need to actually do any damage to my opponent. I just have to hit something. Ugh. That. Super potion. I'm gonna use that now because this is the end game. Come on down, bitch. Oops, forgot. Return my lightning doll so I can feel the power. 
and that. Now we're in the clock tower. Ow. Going through. Damn. Oh, and we got a new the Shadow Knight. This is the only place in the entire game that you will be able to encounter this particular enemy. I don't I've never gotten hit soul, so I have no idea what it does, but we're just gonna go through here. Hello, Solus. I need some chicken wings. Hmm. I'm gonna go for some chicken wings right about now. Even in the chaotic realm, the clock tower is a bitch and a half. We're back in the underground arena. So, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. You just feel your way around. Soul. Mm. If I was using Headhunter, I'd be swinging hard right about now. Ah, you... Die, son of a bitch. Alright, go through here. Can't fool me, Mimic. Alright. Yep. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the final, final boss of the area. This is the, set, the final save room of the game. That's right. So, I'm going to save here. Sorry, I have to move some stuff out of the way. Now, at this point, you can do one of two things. Once you pass through that door, you can either get the good ending or the bad ending. I'll show off the bad ending first. Getting the bad ending is not that hard. So, let's go through here. Finally, I'm finally here. I wonder if I can do this alone. You're not alone. What? Everyone remaining in the castle combined their powers to contact you. Does that mean you all they all know I'm Dracula? Yes. Maricado told us everything. I think they're all afraid of you. No, not at all. At first we were shocked, but everyone believes you'll get through this. I'm gonna send you a message from them now. Listen. You will visit my shop again, won't you? I'll be waiting for you. Good morning, Soma. I just heard about what happened to you. I told you this before. You are who you are, and you mustn't let him win. To the man who beat me, don't disappoint me now. This is your last chance, and ours as well. I'm counting on you. They're all rooting for me. You can do it, because I believe in you. Nina. All right, here I go. And we're going in, and this is the chaos boss. And it's uh, and outright, you can see he takes all of your um souls. So for this, I'm just uh, to get the bad ending. All you have to do is just lose. So I'm just gonna stand here and let these guys wail on me. There is literally nothing I can do to stop them. Because they took all my souls. I still have my weapons, but I just don't have my souls. So they drain my MP. One more attack should be enough to, to, to kill. A couple more attacks should be enough to kill me. And there, I just died. Now this is the bad ending. There's Soma on Dracula's throne, fully possessed. And here comes Jay. 
Sorry I kept you waiting. Time to keep that promise I made. A little homage to Cynthia and Knight. So yeah, that was the bad ending. If you lost the fight with Chaos, Soma will be completely control consumed by the chaotic energies and completely turn into Dracula. And as you saw, Julius would go on to keep his promise and kill Soma if he became the reborn Dark Lord. So, what'd you all think of that ending? Did you like it? Did you think it kind of sucked? What was your opinion of it? I don't know, but yeah. Hopefully, that gives you a more appreciation of the game. So, you know, yeah, all I have to do is wait for the credits to roll by, and then afterwards, I can show you the best ending of the game. Proper. So, while we're waiting, um, what are you guys' favorite Castlevania games? I'm just, I'm just curious to know. If you want, just leave them in the comments below. What was the, better yet, what was the very first Castlevania game you ever beat? Now, I would say, um, I would ask, who, what is your favorite Castlevania game, what is your first Castlevania game you ever played? Mine was, um, Castlevania 3, um, I think Dracula's Curse for the, for the, for the NES. Yeah, I never beat it, but I played the hell out of it. I never played um, Castlevania's one or two because they because I couldn't buy games like everyone else back then. I had to rent them, and there was a little place called the Maximum Market, I guess. I mean, it doesn't exist anymore. Where I used to, you know, parents used to rent games and movies from, and they didn't have a good selection of games. So it would be years before I actually went to Blockbuster. So. Yeah, so what's your guys' favorite Castlevania games? Doesn't have to be necessarily one that you've beaten. Just whichever one that you, that you, that you liked. So anyway, enough playing around. Let's get let's go over and beat the game. Alright, heard all this. Yak yak, combine our energies, form spirit bomb, planet give me that stupid energy. Let's go. And as before, as you saw, these little fucked up statues take all your souls. What you do, you just wail on them. This part's not that hard, you just have to be aware of what's going on around you. Now you have to. Now the more damage you do to like, these individual ones, the more you can. If you can destroy one of these individual statues, you and just like that, I got my bolt souls back. So I got the, got those souls back, and let's do a um, super potion. And high mind up. And I got my souls back. It's not over yet, I'm afraid. Nope. You really think it will be that easy? There it is. Alright, first, attack. You can attack the core all you want. But first, I would recommend attacking these, um, Attacking these um, parts right here because the, the more you take out the uh, the less defense that um that the core is gonna have. All right, I use You know what? This is the final part. Bad hunter. I'm gonna need. The more with each of these, each of these little eyeball things on the side that you take out, it, it lowers the defense of the main core. So you want to have a better time of it? Attack these core, attack these bad boys first. All right, I use. But you don't really need to take them out, all of them out. 
you can just wail on the you can just wail on the floor anytime that you want. Just make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Watch out for that friggin' dragon thing. Come on. Die, you son of a... And that is it. He is... Chaos Court is down for the count. There's Dracula's castle. The obligatory Castlevania castle crumble sequence. Hello, Soma. Congratulations. I've got another job that I must attend to, so I have to go now. When I heard that you were Dracula, I was shocked. I was just, I was also just waking up, you know. If you think about it though, everything turned out okay. <laughs> I'll never forget your strength and courage. And I haven't thanked you yet for rescuing me, so thanks. You're like a younger brother to me. It was fun, and I hope we meet again. Goodbye. Hey there, much obliged for your business at my shop. Back at the castle, I realized my true calling. Fighting is not for me. I think I'll quit the army and open up a shop sometime soon. I promise you'll come back. I'll give you a good deal. You fought well. When we fled the castle, I felt the power of Vampire Killer fading away. I don't know what it means, but I won't have anything to do for the time being. Farewell. May we meet again. The path you took was the most challenging one. You did well. For God to be good, evil must is an absolute necessity in this world. In the future, someone may follow in Dark Dracula's footsteps. And at that time, perhaps we'll meet again. Farewell. In my mother's name, I send you my thanks. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Soma. Soma! Thank God you woke up. I heard you folks speak. I'm saved by you all again. Again? Yes. I couldn't have won the last battle by myself. Everyone's kind words and encouragement led me to victory. Yes. You remember. Inside of you, Dracula's power still lies sleeping. It's not evil, but it's definitely changed me. It's okay. If anything ever happens again, everyone will rush to your aid. That's right. Yes, I they will. Look, the eclipse is ended. And so, that was the best third and final ending to Castlevania. Aria of Sorrow. Man, I didn't actually think I'd actually do this one. I mean, this is my first Let's Play, and I know I fucked up a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. I mean, uh, between the interruptions and microphone malfunctions, and and actually, I don't even think a lot of people will watch have watched this. But I'm just glad to have done it, just to get it out of the way. I love this game. Sure, the dialogue can be a bit hammy in places, but I love the story, I love the fact that you could play as Soma, Soma Cruz, who is actually Count Dracula. Using all those souls just gave you a sense of power that you really could, that really no other Castlevania game I've ever played gave you before or since. And, um, I really enjoyed myself with this one, so it's just very nice to have. Um, and I, I really liked it. So, and uh, what do you guys think? If you haven't played this game yet, I'd suggest you give it a try. It's on, I think it's on the Wii, Wii U Virtual Console, so it's out there, or it's pretty cheap if you can pick it up. 
from a game store or eBay or do like me and just play an emulator. This, this is an emulator. I'm sorry. I just, I don't have a Game Boy Advance or, or anything. And there's the whole crew. Look at them. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's the end of it. Now, of course, end of game, there are little, little game extras. This is, um, you can now access hard mode. Or on the main menu screen, go to special. And you can do boss rush mode, where you fight all the bosses in the game, one after another, and you get a special prize at the end, depending on how fast you beat the game. Or... This is New Game Plus, which I want to try out soon. You gain, you you have all your items and all of your souls, so it'll make room. You don't have all the equipment, but you can you can pretty much easily get through the game with this one. Or if you want, when you're playing a um, when you're playing a new game, enter Julius, as it says on the screen, and you can you can play the game as Julius Belmont. I haven't tried that out, but I probably will. So yeah. That is the end of my first Let's Play of Castle and my first game of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Today, probably today, I have an idea for what the next game I want to play, Let's Play is. But so if you want to find out, just link, just subscribe to the channel, and you'll find out either today or tomorrow, depending on what what I have time for. So, with that in mind, if you like what you see, link, comment, subscribe below. Got any questions, comments? Or any, or just want to share your Castlevania memories with me? Leave them below. I'll get back to you. You want to support the channel? Click an advertisement or two. It literally takes a second out of your day. Or drop a dollar in the bucket. I could use a taco or a burrito. So until next time, to Shin Tiger Pearl, that dude in the straw hat, saying good day and thanks for watching me play this game. <laughs>